A research gap refers to an area of knowledge that has not been fully explored or addressed in existing research. It is essentially a missing piece in the current understanding of a subject or field. Identifying these gaps is crucial because they offer opportunities for new studies that can advance the knowledge within that field. Research gaps might exist due to outdated studies, shifts in societal trends, or limitations in previous methodologies. For example, consider the topic of climate change and its effect on agriculture. While many studies have focused on the impact of rising temperatures on crop yield, there might be a lack of research on how specific farming techniques can mitigate these effects in certain regions. This unstudied region represents a research gap that could lead to new discoveries. Another example could be the field of psychology, where much research has been conducted on the effects of social media on young adults' mental health, but fewer studies may focus on its impact on older adults. A researcher could explore this population to fill that gap. To identify a research gap, the first tip is to conduct a thorough literature review. Start by reading existing studies in your area of interest and look for patterns. Are there areas that have been studied extensively? What questions remain unanswered? This review will help you pinpoint where the knowledge is lacking. Secondly, check the conclusion sections of research papers. Authors often suggest areas for future research that they were unable to cover. These suggestions can be a goldmine for finding research gaps that need to be addressed. Thirdly, look for conflicting results in existing research. Sometimes studies will have different or contradictory findings. These inconsistencies might indicate that more research is needed to resolve the disagreement or explore why the results are conflicting. Another tip is to focus on a small change. It's not always necessary to come up with a completely new idea. You could take an existing study and modify one aspect, such as the methodology, the population being studied, or the context in which the research takes place. This can help you identify a manageable gap without overcomplicating your study. For example, often my students want to study a topic that has been extensively studied before. That's fine, they just need a new angle on the old topic. I'll suggest that they see if they can study that topic through a case study methodology rather than the typical methodology cited in the literature. Alternatively, they might want to interview a specific type of person who the topic affects who haven't been interviewed for that topic before. Or, simply, it might be the case that most of the studies on the topic have taken place in America, but few studies have focused on the UK context. Any one of these small tweaks opens up a research gap. Overall, don't complicate it. You could identify a research gap in literally any topic by tweaking one or more variables. Now you've learned about research gaps, it's time to dive into literature reviews. To learn all about the literature review, watch this video next.